Uh, hello guys, uh, today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how we can uh, install the Spring Tool Suite in our uh, Windows 10 machine in Eclipse. So as you know Spring Tool Suite uh, or STS is an Eclipse based ID which is optimized for developing Spring Framework based projects. It can be either installed as a standalone ID or as a plugin in Eclipse. If you are already using Eclipse ID, you may consider installing STS as a plugin for your existing Eclipse because that is faster than downloading STS separately. So uh, this is the Coding Magic YouTube channel. Uh, if you if you will like my videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will be more than happy to assist you so first of all uh, before we proceed to install this plugin in eclipse make sure that your windows 10 has java jdk the latest version uh, or at eclipse uh, id any eclipse id uh, have installed so to check the java version go to the uh, your command prompt uh, from here, you need to type uh, Java space hyphen version and click enter. So right now uh, we have the Java version of 15.0.1.2020.10.20. So this is an uh, uh, latest Java version that I have in my machine. Uh, and if you don't have this one, please, uh, I will put the link for my video how to install this java jdk on windows 10 i i put the link in the description part of this video please check it and come back once you install the java jdk then uh you will need to have uh eclipse so i have eclipse id for java developers uh i'm gonna click on this one if you don't have eclipse please uh, check the description part of this video. I put there the link for how to download the Eclipse in Windows 10 uh, video and you can watch and you can come back once you have the Eclipse. Uh, so right now I'm launching my Eclipse uh, and I need to wait a little bit once Eclipse ID uh, loads in my windows 10 so guys this is an eclipse and in eclipse you will see the help option here click on the help option and if you go down you will see eclipse marketplace this is an eclipse marketplace where you can download and install a lot of Eclipse related plugins to your machine. So I clicked on this one and here you will see the search button. Click on the search button and you will see the here find option. Right now we're gonna search for, uh, so it's spring space tool space suit and click enter or you can press the go button here it's so we need to wait here a little bit and eclipse is searching for the spring tool suit in its marketplace and after some time it will show you the results so here we have uh, the latest version spring tools 4 aka spring tool suit 4 uh, it's 4.10.0 release. Uh, so if you read here, Spring Tool 4 is a next generation of Spring Boot tooling for your favorite coding environment. Largely rebuilt from scratch, blah, blah, blah. And it, it has all the information here. And as you can see, this was, uh, it has uh, 1.9 million downloads totally for, for its history. And last month, this was downloaded 27,000 times. Uh, so it is a really huge. It's one of the most popular uh, framework in Java history. 
because it makes the developing Spring applications very, very easy. And this one is Spring Tool 3 add-on for Spring Tools. We are not looking for this one. We are looking exactly this one, Spring Tools. Uh, and uh, here you will find the install button. So click on the install button. And so here you will see a couple of options and make sure that all options are selected. So uh, click on confirm. And you need to wait a little bit here. Uh, so here uh, in the next window, uh, you need to review the license. Uh, you can read this license agreement if you want. I have read it previously, so I don't have to read uh, once again. And here you have to select this option. I accept the terms of the license agreements. If you choose this one, it will not let you to finish this uh, installation. So make sure you choose I accept the terms of license agreements and here click on finish. So if you can see the installation software is going on and here 38% it says and it should be 100 and you need to wait a little bit here and it gonna it gonna be completed very very soon so guys uh, it is uh, the installation is completed and it's asking right now the Eclipse for restart of the Eclipse ID uh, so uh, Please restart the Eclipse now. If you don't restart, the changes will not take effect and you can't use the uh, this uh, Spring uh, Boot uh, suit. So just click on Restart Now and Eclipse will automatically will be restarted after some time, very, very soon. So the Eclipse installation, uh, Eclipse uh, relaunch is going on here. So guys, it doesn't matter what Eclipse uh, version you have. Uh, so it doesn't affect your uh, Spring Suite tool installation. So here I have an Eclipse uh, opened and here, let me click here. What's going on here? Let's check it. Yeah, so this is an Eclipse and let's check so here click on file click on new and from here you need to select a new project and uh, in new project you will see spring boot voila that's what what we need click on spring boot and you can import the spring getting started content or speed spring starter project you can click here and starting from today on, you can work on Spring applications. Uh, you can start developing your uh, Spring applications on Eclipse and here uh, you can give the name. You can you need to provide the group artifact uh, and package. You can change and description. You can give any description and you can start developing your project. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. I really appreciate your time and the help. Thank you very much. Have a good, good, wonderful day. Thank you.